Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Prophetess Equila, and I'm coming to you with this week's word of encouragement. I've been praying and meditating over the past couple of days, and the Holy Spirit has given me this scripture that I want to share with you, and it's found in Hebrews 10.35. The King James Version says, Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. The God's Word version says, So don't lose your confidence. It will bring you a great reward. Okay? So what I want to just encourage you in is don't lose your confidence in God. Don't lose your confidence in God's ability to bring His Word to pass in your life. Don't lose your confidence. Hallelujah in God's ability to manifest his promises in your life. Remember, the word of God says, he who promised you is faithful, okay? So I know many have been standing and confessing and decreeing and believing the word of God over your lives in specific areas, the same as I. And, you know, maybe you have not received the manifestation of the promise as of yet. I want to just encourage you, hallelujah, don't faint. Don't give up. Don't cave in. Don't quit. Don't begin to speak doubt. Don't begin to speak unbelief. Don't receive the lie of the enemy that says God isn't going to do it. Hallelujah, because God is going to do it. Hallelujah. He promised and he's faithful. And he told me to release this word of encouragement. It's not a time to lose your confidence in God. It's not a time to stop believing God, to stop trusting God, to stop hoping in God. No, it's time to stand still and see the salvation of God. It's time, hallelujah, to stand still, hallelujah, and watch God do what he said he was going to do. Hallelujah. Another scripture that I want to share with you right now is Hebrews 6, 11 through 12. On the King James Version, it says, And we desire that every one of you do so the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end, that you be not slothful, but be followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises of God okay it's through faith and patience that you are going to inherit the promises of God that means hallelujah just because it didn't manifest as quickly as you thought it was going to does not mean hallelujah that it's not going to happen hallelujah you've got to have faith and patience Okay, you can't just say it didn't happen, hallelujah, in two months. Hallelujah, it didn't happen in three months. It's not going to happen. No, don't start talking doubt and unbelief. Don't, hallelujah, lose confidence in God's ability, hallelujah, to bring his promise to pass in your life. Hallelujah, continue to believe, continue to stand, continue to trust God. There's another scripture that I want to give you, hallelujah, and it's, gonna, it's found in Hebrews 10, 23. It says, let us seize and hold tightly the confession of our hope without wavering for he who promised is reliable and trustworthy and faithful to his word. Did you get that? Hallelujah. You got to hold tight. Hallelujah. To your confession. Hallelujah. You've been confessing. Hallelujah health in your body you've been confessing restoration to your marriage you've been confessing salvation over your unsaved loved ones hallelujah you've been confessing that you're the head and not the tail that you're above and not beneath that you're the lender and not the borrower you got a whole type to that confession hallelujah because hallelujah the word of god says he who promised is reliable 
and trustworthy and faithful to his word. That's why you can't lose confidence. You can't throw your confidence in the word of God away. Hallelujah. Because God is going to bring the, his word to pass in your life. So I just want you to be encouraged. Let me give you that same scripture, Hebrews 10, 23 from the God's word translation. It says, we must continue to hold firmly to our declaration of faith. The one who made the promise is faithful. Hallelujah. God promised you. Hallelujah. He promised you health. God promised you, hallelujah, that your whole household would be saved. Hallelujah. God promised to make you the head and not the tail. God promised, hallelujah, that you would be the lender and not the borrower. God promised that wealth and riches would be in your house. Hallelujah. So as you stand on these promises, hallelujah, don't get, don't get weary. Hallelujah. Don't cast your confidence away. Hallelujah. Stand still and see, hallelujah, the salvation of the Lord. Stand still and watch God bring his word to pass in your life, in his timing. Hallelujah. And God is always on time. Hallelujah. He may not come in our time, but he is going to come on time. Amen. Hallelujah. So I just want you to be encouraged, to be encouraged, to be encouraged hallelujah, to stay in faith, hallelujah, to continue to trust God, hallelujah, and you're going to see, hallelujah, the manifestation of the promises of God. I want to give you another scripture, hallelujah, before I come up off of here, hallelujah, um, let me give you Proverbs 3.26, it says, for the Lord shall be thy confidence, okay, your confidence is not in people. Your confidence is not in what the current circumstances is telling you. Your confidence is in the Lord. Hallelujah. So let me give you Proverbs 22. Hallelujah. 19. It says, so that your trust and reliance and confidence may be in the Lord. I have taught these things to you today. Amen. This is why the Lord had me to release this word to you on today. He wants you to continue to have confidence in him, continue to have confidence in his word. He's a reliable God. He's a trustworthy God. Don't lose your faith. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Don't faint. Hallelujah. Don't cave in and don't quit. Just trust in the promises of God. Do not cast away your confidence, hallelujah, because your confidence in God is about to bring a great reward into your life. Well, I pray that this word encourages you. If it did, please like this video, please share this video, and thank you for watching. God bless you.